today we are doing another she in wig y'all these she in wigs are bussing they're they're coming pre-plucked um it's just a lot of good stuff about these wigs and the, the really like the one thing that i love about she in wigs is how you can stretch the wig cap and make it like really it's really stretchy <clears throat> the wig cap is really stretchy y'all which helps when you have a big head and when you have locks underneath so i like highly endorse she in wigs for us lock bays okay like yeah the, the cap is stretchy and you need to have it so this one is a closure wig y'all so um i do have two wig caps underneath i didn't show how i put how i did my locks but i do have that in my previous video so check those out um but yes i'm going ahead i'm just putting the wig on y'all like the wig is it's wigging it's on there it's secure it's not going anywhere i just love how stretchy the wig cap is I, i'm just gonna keep saying that the whole video <laughs> and excuse my voice because it's definitely going out but you know i still gotta get this voiceover done for y'all okay okay so um y'all just see me here i'm just playing with the lace i'm making sure that i can get that parting space as far back as possible because this is a five by five closure y'all so um i need all the parting space y'all y'all can get okay so now y'all just see me i'm flat ironing i always say flat iron but i mean hot comb I gotta get it together but <laughs> i'm hot combing the wig y'all i'm trying to get it as flat as possible um it comes pretty flat but you want to kind of get it to your head okay like these are custom wigs designed to be fitting to your head okay not nobody else's head your head but yeah that's what i'm doing here y'all i'm getting that front flat as well i kind of like when i push the front back like when you push the front back, it'll kind of fall forward and it creates that volume, which we love. I love. Everybody loves. Okay. So um, now I'm just tinting the lace with the Ruby Kisses, y'all. Y'all, this Ruby Kisses, I'm almost out of it. So I'm going to have to order another one. I'm using the shade 12. I just love how easy it is to tint the lace. Um, like I said um, in every video, I tint the lace with the darker side because it has two two little colors to it. I tint the lace with the darker side and then I go in with the part with the lighter side. And this just helps conceal that wig cap line as well as, you know, anything else you got going on under there. So whenever I get these Shein wigs, I love to do like a minimal baby hair look. Um, I don't like the no baby hair look, but I do like to have like something there, you know, to cover the lace. And I just like the way the baby hairs looked. I always call them like the mixed girl edges, you know, like when I was in high school, the mixed girls used to have like these cute little edges. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm applying this mousse on there. Um, I'm just trying to uh, melt the lace to my forehead. I can't even get that out. I'm trying to melt the lace to my forehead as well as kind of get those baby hairs to lay where I want them to lay. Um, so I am kind of like swooping them a little bit, but like nothing too major because I want them messy. And um, you'll see later on, I had to go in and kind of um, fix them a little bit more. They were too long, which is like when you do these, you need to cut them like really short, like almost like one centimeter because they're just there to you know make sure the lace line line is not visible okay so i'm using these black barber strips that's that's what these are called y'all barber strips so i'll use that and then i put my elastic band on top and then I, I let everything dry maybe about like 20 minutes or 10 minutes if i'm just being impatient which i probably was in this video <laughs> But um, y'all, I am using a flat iron. Um, this hair is bone straight, so I just really wanted to get it more straighter and see, you know, how 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 low can we go? Okay, you know, 
how much more body and volume can I get in this hair, girl? So I'm like, okay, let's let's do that. I used this flat iron that I got from Amazon. Um, I will link it in my Amazon storefront. This is a wider one that I love using on straight units. So I love, you know, you only have to do a few passes on it too. So check it out. But y'all, we are done melting and baking or whatever. And this is how it came out. See how it's like almost too swoopy. I had to go in and kind of like cut it and fix that okay but it was like really an easy hack like and so I really like the way that this this uh wig the lace looked with the baby hair like that and um yeah so I, I did straighten it but I was like okay let's see if it can hold some curls this hair curls really well but it doesn't hold a curl they're not gonna stay all night because the hair is so like um because the hair is so silky it doesn't really hold all day um but y'all I, I used this beach waver i found this beach waver when i went thrifting at the goodwill one day and i picked it up and like i finally am using it and like i love it it does take some getting used to i will say that um but for the most part it's super easy and especially for my girlies who don't know how to get that flick of the wrist for the curling iron which is me like i still cannot get that curling iron flick like ugh. and i want these big jumbo curls you know so this is the next best thing girl like it's really it's really easy to use and um yeah it curled my hair really good i'm just showing you guys one side curled one side not okay but um i went ahead and curled the other side off camera and y'all this 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 wig is bussing the curls are super cute in this one um the hairline is really cute like this these Shein wigs are a bomb because i they whenever like this is like the third one i've ordered that has a hairline that looks like this the knots are not bleached but the knots are super small so where they're like almost undetectable and the lace is soft and the lace is pre-cut like it's, it's just really given and this is 26 um this i think this even might be 28 inches y'all um so this is a 28 inch wig and um she and they did that like i really like this one um it does have a little bit of layers in the front i did not cut anything into this wig so this is how it will come and um, i'm just kind of like finishing up you know because I want this to look good. I want it to look good. But y'all, I highly recommend this wig. It is kind of on the low density side. Um, but like, I feel like with straight hair, you kind of want that. If there's too much hair, it starts looking like a helmet, you know, like a, like a hat wig or whatever. But I really enjoyed how soft this hair was and how easy it was to install. This is definitely a beginner friendly wig. And I'm gonna say it again, that wig cap is so stretchy that you need it you need it especially if you got locks or a big head okay so make sure you guys check this wig out of course i will leave the link down below for you guys to purchase this unit uh this unit like this comes from shein y'all like shein is becoming your one-stop shop for everything okay and also if you guys like this uh romper i have on it is a romper from asoft so um i'll leave that down below also but yeah i'm just showing y'all you know the wig cap construction everything i do have this wig glueless on glueless y'all so um yeah this is what y'all are seeing what y'all are seeing me showing y'all that it's glueless i don't have it glued down or anything like that and it's staying under underneath here i do want to note i have a wig fix wig grip on um i just really like wearing these when i have worn when i'm wearing a glueless wig because it stops it from sliding back again this is in my amazon storefront um if you guys want to check it out it's only like five dollars too so definitely a steal y'all um i do i did want to show you guys the back too because the back um i, I wanted to show y'all that even though i have locks they're not like sticking out of the bottom and everything like that so um this is a full coverage wig y'all like i said the cap is super stretchy and like i'm gonna say it for the 10th the time it's super stretchy and it, it, it you know my locks are under here very thick y'all seen them in the beginning like girl i recommend it okay like um i'll leave this specific one down in the description box for y'all so let's check it out um and as always thank you so much for watching your support does not go unnoticed bye